Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will give a short intro on e-bike dynamics. This design is completely for e-bike that is two wheeler. And if you want to purchase this file, then I will add link in description below. You can go and purchase this file. Here is the complete design and this is the input speed. User has three options. He can connect any one. He can connect this or this or this. If he wants constant speed, then he can connect this. If he wants acceleration for few seconds at beginning, then he can connect this. And if he want to drive cycle, complete acceleration and deacceleration for particular seconds, then he can connect this one. And here are there are two or three scope. In scope, you can see the waveforms and in display, you can see the values. Let me zoom this. In this display, user can see the distance traveled per kilometer okay in kilometer value and in this display you can see the soc now let me take you inside this subsystem and initial soc is 100% you can see in display inside subsystem there are various subsystem like uh, driver subsystem then comes battery pack subsystem then power controller subsystem then motor and gear subsystem and vehicle dynamics subsystem soc subsystem okay inside vehicle dynamics you can see two wheels one is front tire one and another one is rear tire one because this is for two wheelers i am designing dynamics for two wheel bike and we have also implemented regenerative braking later i will share with you graph okay during acceleration the soc will decrease and during deacceleration the soc will increase because of regenerative braking and this subsystem is for motor and gear and this subsystem for battery pack okay inside you can see there is one battery and the rating of this battery is 72 volts and uh, you can see here 72 volt and rated capacity is 22 h you can change okay based on your requirement well now i will run this uh, design and i will share with you waveforms you can observe here okay sometimes soc will decrease and sometimes it will increase because of regenerative braking Oh, sorry uh, okay the time is zero i will keep i will change this one wait by the way i am using online simulating so it is taking time now you can see the soc value okay sometimes it will decrease and sometimes it will increase Here you can see now it is 8, 98, okay, 97, 94, 95. Now it is 93, again it is going back to 94, okay, 92, and then came to 93, 91, 92. Okay, sometimes it is decreasing and sometimes it is increasing because of regenerative braking. Now it is 90 and the distance traveled is 12 kilometer okay to travel a distance of 12 kilometer 9 percent soc is uh, it required now it is 90 percent 98 sorry 89 now it is 86 okay let me stop this uh, simulation and i will share with you waveforms Okay, with the help of this scope, you can see SOC and current waveform. Here you can see the SOC and current waveform. Okay, wait, I will change style. Okay. Okay, I will make color black and I will reduce thickness to 0.05. Sorry, 0 0.05. Okay. Oh shit. 
and marker i will keep none here you can see the current is zero okay sorry there is one small mistake okay i have to make this go to block global that's why it is not showing current waveform okay now i will make this global and i will run this design again and you can also see soc value again okay sometimes it will decrease and sometimes it will increase once it the distance reaches 10 km i will stop this simulation now it is 6 km and now it is 7 now it is 9 and you can see here soc okay it was 90 again it came back to 91 let me open this scope okay here you can see the current waveform again i have to change style okay active display i will select second and color i will keep black and size 0 0.05 marker i will keep none guys here you can see uh, during acceleration the soc is decreasing and here you can see the motor current okay during acceleration motor is uh, taking current okay and uh, during deacceleration it is uh, acting as uh, generator means that system will act as a regenerative braking here you can see the negative current and uh, here you can see the SOC is increasing during deacceleration. The SOC is increasing, and you can see here during okay when the motor is uh, taking negative current. Okay, motor is uh, supplying; it is delivering now, so it will be negative, and SOC is increasing. You can see okay this is the SOC waveform, and second one is current waveform. This is how. Ebec Dynamics works well, guys. Uh, with the help of this scope, you can see the input speed and vehicle speed waveform, and here you can see the motor temperature and controller temperature waveform. And in this scope, you can see the energy consumption of motor and battery. Okay, how much energy is battery delivering, and how much energy motor is consuming. With the help of this scope, you can see. If you have any questions regarding this design then you can visit our website and you can add your questions thank you for watching this video and if you want to purchase this file then i will add link in description below have a great day